Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the first half of October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, playlists, tons of stuff there. Please do check it out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to those who have reached out for personal readings. And those have blessed me with an energy exchange and supporting the channel as in a tip or a donation to the channel and doing these free readings for you, which I truly love to do. So thank you so much for all your support and being a part of helping the channel grow is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All righty. Scorpio Love Connection reading for the first half of October. Let's see what we have. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy early Halloween. All right, so this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we'll see what we get. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. It's a little extra bonus, so don't get too caught up on, a, on the signs that I mentioned throughout the reading. All that information is below. People sometimes leave comments they don't understand, or I mention a sign too much, then that part's not for you. So you only take what resonates, throw away the rest. All righty. Okay, Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? First half of October. What may some be dealing with, Spirit, please? For the first half of October. It's too many. Just want one for Scorpio, please. Thank you so much. One for Scorpio. There we go. Taurus. Some people could be dealing with Taurus, and if you're not, that's totally fine. Or maybe you know somebody that has Taurus heavy, heavily in their chart. may not be their sun sign. Okay. Taurus does represent the Hierophant, which does represent marriage and commitment. So I, I don't know if that means anything. We'll see. All right. Tor uh, sorry, Taurus. Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All righty. What do we have for Scorpio? Let's get a main love connection energy for Scorpio. This can be any kind of connection that you have with a person. It has to be actual connection of some kind, not just somebody you see that doesn't have a clue who you are. <laughs> this is some sort of actual connection. You don't have to be together, um, but there is some sort of mutual um, connection there. Okay. One more. All right. What is the love connection energy between Scorpio and their person, whoever you are thinking of at this time? What is the love connection energy for Scorpio? First half of October. And that one wanted to stick in my hand. So I think that spirit's way of saying, take that one. Oh, door to value. Number 31, which is four, which is about the basis and foundation and stability. Is that blurry? Okay. So, you know, this may be a rela relationship connection here that may bring a lot of value into your life or into each other's lives, valuing each other. A lot of um, growth, expansion, value. Wow. All right. So, let's see. We learn a lot from each other. Okay, so let's see. One for you, one for your person. Thank you. And as I said, that two flew out. <laughs> How you both feeling towards each other and feeling about the connection. So Scorpio, you have Goddess of the Moon. That is Cancer and Pisces energy. 52 is 7. So that is someone who's very intuitive, who's, um, that is feminine energy. So, you know, you may have uh, a deep knowing of this connection. This is very intuitive. You listen to your gut, your intuition, your inner knowing, being connected to source sort of energy here. Wow. Deep feelings could be about deep feelings too. Also for this person, you have 52, which is seven, which is a very spiritual divine number. And they have yin yang. So... Wow, so you you really balance this person out, I feel. You're yin and yang to each other. A lot of balance here. And you have 22, 
which is about two people coming together, and then, you know, two, and then four is, again, stability, foundation. So, wow. I don't have my little book here to read about Goddess of the Moon. Let's see. I just want to see if there may be um, 52, a message in there. Intuition going within, exactly. Um, intuition, receive insights from your soul's point of view. You have the power to get intuitive information on all types of issues, and now is the time to use it. So you, you know, you know, um, you have high intuition about this person. You know they have, are of high value to you in your life. You, they feel like you balance them out. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Woman holding a coin. So exactly. So this is about value, worth. This is sort of like the Queen of Pentacle energy or the Empress energy. So, you know, knowing your value, knowing their value, having growth, expansion, abundance, stability. Wow. Okay. So, let me put this right here. So let's see what the actual situation is, what's going on between you and your person, your connection here. All right. You're coming here, you know, it's a very stable energy. So this could be a very stable relationship, you know, it could be a very abundant relationship maybe you are very um financially set also in this relationship all right so let's clarify goddess of the moon here for you scorpio in this love connection scorpio in this love connection my cards upside down yes they are so just before i start here this is the sexual magic tarot if you're not familiar with this deck, it is a sexual in nature. So there is some female nudity from the waist up and some sexual kind of position. So if you're offended by that, then you may not want to watch it. Just want to, uh, if you're 18 and under, then you shouldn't be watching this. Okay, so, oh, you have the five of swords. Hmm. Oh. This, you know, this is a kind of an ego driven energy kind of doing, you know, doing, you know, what you want to do, you know, you don't really care about anybody else. You know, it's all about you, 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 how can you get ahead? Wow. Oh, and they have the nine of swords. Well, it started off good. Now they have stress, worry, and anxiety. A lot of swords here now. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Let's get some clarifiers. Why is the Five of Swords here? Okay, I just got Five of Swords here. You'll do anything here to keep this person. You don't want to lose this person. You'll do anything at all cost to keep them in your life, to keep them with you. You never want to lose them, and you don't care what you would have to do uh, to keep this person. And they have stress and anxiety if they ever were to lose you, I think. Because you balance each other out so well here and all this value and stability. Oh boy. Okay, so maybe they want to propose to you. You know, that's why Taurus could be here as the Hierophant. I don't know. So let's clarify the Five of Swords. So we have the Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So clarifying your Five of Swords is the Three of Cups. So this is, you know, an energy of coming together, rejoicing, celebrating, having good times, um, reuniting, rejoicing. So you, they have a lot of good times with you, <laughs> as you can see there. They never want to lose you. They'll do anything to keep you, anything. You'll do anything to keep them, rather. You have a lot of chemistry with this person, a lot of love, a lot of good times together. Wow. Getting a lot of sexual energy. And they have ten of cups here, so they love you deeply. They want the whole ten yards with you. They want the happy home and family. 
emotional fulfillment here. You bring them so much fulfillment that they would, the thought of losing you just stresses them out like to no end. And I don't know why they would think they would ever lose you. Maybe because you're this very abundant, secure, stable, attractive woman here. Wow. Okay, so let's see what the actual situation is. Maybe, you know, you have a lot of, a, you get a lot of attention and they see that. And maybe, you know, you don't pay any mind to that, but maybe they just see that and it worries them for some reason. What do we have here? That's too many. So let's see the actual situation between you and your person. Okay, so we have the sun on your side connecting you in this actual situation. So this is Leo energy, but it doesn't have to be. So this is happiness, joy, happy home and family, growth, expansion, healing, enlightenment, success, and victory. So they are your ray of light, your, your you know. So you came out as the feminine there with the moon energy, and now here's the masculine energy coming out on your side. So they, you definitely see them as your masculine here as your happiness, your joy, success, and victory. They have the Eight of Cups here on their side. So I, I still get this feeling that, you know, Eight of Cups is about, you know, walking away, but I think they just worry that, you know, what if somebody gives you attention and it catches your eye and for some reason they fear you may walk away from them. I mean, that's, that's what I'm getting here. But connecting the two of you, is the Page of Swords energy. <sighs> so here's air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So that's connecting the two of you. So you may keep close tabs on one another. <laughs> and maybe, you know, you watch each other's social media, you really watch what each, what each other is doing, but you don't let each other know that. Like you keep close tabs on one another. It's like a fear of losing each other I'm getting between the two of you. I don't know. It's odd, odd, uh, kind of an odd energy I'm getting. All right, so let's get clarified. So now we have the Five of Cups. Let's get one more. And the Four of Pentacles on their side. So on your side, the Five of Cups. So that speaks, you know, water energy, your energy, sadness, loss, sorrow. But you have all this happy... I think you would be so sad if you were ever to lose them. You'll do anything to keep them because they are your light. You, they're, they're, you, they're your sunshine of your world. And if you were to ever lose them here, you'll do anything to keep them because you would be so sad and hurt here. It's kind of what I'm getting. And then they have the four pentacles. So this is you know holding on to stability holding on to something and not letting go. It's like they don't want to let you go. They want to hold on to you like forever here with the Four of Pentacles energy. Earth energy here. You know, you make them so stable. You balance them out. You fulfill them in every single way. You know, Four of Pentacles is holding on and not letting go. So they never want to let you go here. And they worry about what if she ever walked away from me? Or he, you know. So you're really keeping tabs on one another. <laughs> like watching social media, maybe, you know, watching where they're going. I, I, I don't know. It's just like weird kind of energy. But, you know, the Page of Swords here is about truth, clarity. So, you know, maybe you just need to have some open, honest communication here about your situation. All right, let's get advice for you, Scorpio, from this. So we have the Eight of Swords, so that's mental blockage, entrapment, mental entrapment. And then we have Temperance here, which is Sag energy, which is about um, balance, peace, harmony, patience. So have patience with this situation. You need to temper and balance out your energy. You need to be more peaceful and harmonious. You need to balance yourself out of this mental blockage and entrapment of, of fear of losing them. I think you both fear losing each other, and I don't know why. 
because I see all the stability and value, um, love. There's a lot of cups here. Stability and love. I'm seeing stability and love. I don't see a lot of wands yet, but um, now let's get more clarity on your advice. Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So now we have some Nine of Wands energy here. So Ace of Pentacles, there's a brand new stable beginning here. So they may, you know, this is the minor of the sun. So earth energy here, stable new beginning. They really want to invest in you in the situation here for the long ter term, the long haul. Like I said, they may even propose the Ace of Pentacles there a building together for the long term. So you don't have to worry and be all up in your head about this. You don't. Just remain, you know, peaceful, calm, harmonious, balanced, have patience. And they got the nine of wands. So they, they're always going to fight for you and they're never going to give up fighting for you in this relationship. Because they have so much love over here, stability, balance. You balance them out. A lot of value. So nine of wands is that wounded warrior keeps on going, keeps on fighting. So they'll never ever give up on you ever. So you don't have to worry about it. Wow. So let's get a possible outcome here for you, Scorpio. Scorpio. I'm surprised we didn't get the Hierophant. Scorpio. What is Scorpio's possible outcome here? So we have the Six of Swords. So there you go. So there's a moving together in a more peaceful, harmonious place, leaving all stuff behind that you don't need and moving forward in a more uh, calmful, peaceful place. So, and that's the air energy. So, yeah, moving together, moving forward peacefully to a better place. So let's get more clarity on that. So, uh, the Hierophant. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Clarifying the heart. I, I think this person, because you have the, and I was just going to place it on the Ace of Pentacles, and I said this person may propose to you because they never, ever want to lose you. Wow. This may involve long-term commitment, marriage. Wow. Strength. Leo energy here. So, you know, just remain strong, confident, bold, courageous, and brave. Have that inner willpower to tame the beast from within. Um, and just, you know, stand in your power here. They feel strength over here. So they feel very strongly about you. Very strongly about you. A lot of love and stability here. And we got the Nine of Wands now. So now there's passion. Wow. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we got the Seven of Swords energy here. Um, you know, again, you know, this can be just an energy of, you know, that worry and fear between each other for some reason. I don't know why that's there. And now we got the Seven of Wands energy, which is being defensive on guard. They, they want to defend you defend you for a lifetime here with the seven of wands energy and they never ever want to lose you and i think they think about that a lot they never want to lose you seven two sevens here right in a row divine spiritual energy there with the sevens king of wands so coming in as your king full of passion excitement uh here Yep, coming in is your queen of wands, king of wands. Um, fire, passion, desire, being strong, courageous, and brave, going after what they want. So they never want to lose you. They'll fight for you forever. And they think about that a lot. Like, I never want to lose this person. I think you both think of that. And you maybe you're not telling each other that. But with the sword here, there needs to be some honesty, some conversations maybe between the two of you. All right, so let's get some extra messages here for you, Scorpio. 
I feel a very, very strong, strong bond here between the two of you. Very strong bonds. Connection. All right. What do we have for Scorpio? Extra messages for Scorpio. Taurus, I mean, I did say that was the Hierophant, and the Hierophant did show up. So that is commitment, marriage. I really think this person wants to marry you. They never want to lose you. They'll never give up on you. They're always going to fight for you, stand up for you. Wow. Nurture here. Number four. So there's the stability and foundation. So nurturing one another, again, with the balance here. You nurture them, they nurture you. Stability, value, balance between the two of you. Wow. All right. What else? What else? What else? For Scorpio. Give back. So I definitely feel here six, and that's that number of um, peace, harmony, balance. I definitely feel like you give back e to each other equally here. A lot of equal give and take in this relationship, this connection. Then we have sleep. Hmm. Maybe you both dream about each other. <laughs> I don't know. 32-5, which is about change. I feel like this relationship is going to change here. And maybe you'll be sleeping better at night once that happens. <laughs> I think it's going to get more stable, more committed. Um energy here and you'll be sleeping better at night and maybe you're dreaming about each other also all right let's see what's on the bottom of the deck choice choice is on the bottom of the deck just 39 just 12 which is three it's about working together teamwork collaboration learning to learning and growing together making choices together moving forward in your future Making the choice to be with one enough with one another for the long term. Wow. <laughs> and spirit just said, look at the next card. Look at the next card. Unconditional love. Exactly. Forty two six again with the peace, harmony, and balance. Unconditional love between the two of you. Wow. Unconditional love. Okay, Scorpio, wow, I do see higher levels of commitment here, possibly even marriage for some of you, fear of losing each other, you know, fighting for each other, standing up for one another, not giving up on one another, wow. Very strong, deep connection here, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below um, for past playlists, maybe something there will resonate for you. I say if you find a title that resonates for you, watch it anyway. Disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless. If you do like my style, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general and love, so it's four readings a month. So don't miss out on that. And I may be adding more different kinds of readings in the future. And uh, thank you so much, and best of luck to you here in your love connection, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.